Hello everybody, this is Duke White. You're watching Real Life with Duke White. Uh, this is a special edition because we have a very special man up here, uh, Slater Joel. What's going on, man? What's up, man? You this, doing all right? Doing good, man. This dude right here has been grinding for years, uh, blessing people with his just majestic voice. Uh, wow, and, majestic. And, oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a good word. Yeah, man. You, you <laughs> usher people right into the spirit. Uh, your focus on who God called you to be is amazing, uh, and you're a down to earth person too. You know, Absolutely. you 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 all about the one of the reasons I, I, I was excited about having you on is that you don't you're not afraid to laugh. Not at all. You know what I mean? Uh, downright, <laughs> him and Cletus Cassidy. You'll meet Cletus <laughs> later, but you know we can't stand. I can't stand Cletus. <laughs> but he's gonna be on the show somehow. He's gonna weasel his way on the show. Uh, I love that dude, man. Uh, but but. Um, I know that I want to talk to you about several different things okay. in this short amount of time because these last couple of years, uh, not not including 2020, because I, I saw a post. <laughs> you yeah. in 2020? Just, cool. Yeah, just just wrap 2020 yeah. up in a little ball, yeah. you know. <laughs> Is it, yeah, you you made a post. But, but I will 20, say, to hold on. I will say, uh, 2020 has been a very just clarifying year for life. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just. It's, it's been the only year in, in about the last 10 years I've, I've been forced to sit still. Right. And pay attention. Right. And slow down. Yeah. And rest. Because that's because there's a, you're an artist. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and it's just like, we got to grind. We yeah. got to make it. Yeah. Um, so I, there's so man, so many things that I want to ask you and talk to you about. Okay. Uh, over, the, over the years that I've observed and since I've known you, uh, I've had you on the voice radio. We had the voice radio mm -hmm. and things like that. So when I say... I'm a supporter, man. I love this dude. Uh, there's some things that I want to talk to you about that because you're still on the ground. One, uh, man, you're a critical dude of your own music. He sent me, he sent me um, some some music one time that I'm like, yo, we got to get it on the radio, and you were like, no, not yet, no, sir. And you did, <laughs> and then I never heard anything from the songs. And you're like, we're not doing those songs. So is that? Is that really? That's you. You you're your hardest crit critic. Nobody, Simon Cowell could not critique me wow. worse than I critique myself. Wow. So so even when it comes to music like that, I have learned not to throw anything away. Right. But if 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 it ain't here at the present moment, you just gotta sit over there. Man, that thing hurt me because you. <laughs> He sent me some wonderful music, and you were like, "Duke, no, this is not to be released." Because you have to, you have to be careful nowadays, man. Um, man, people want to box you in. Mm. So here's my biggest fear, and I don't mind admitting this out loud. My biggest fear is I know the church is my biggest support. The problem is when you make church music, that's all people expect of you. Wow. And I have a way bigger world to reach yeah. than people who are already comfortable in the four walls and already know Christ. Yeah, and, and I think that's a very powerful message to church people because they will give, if you think about it, and this is going to, go, listen, I'm, he's not saying this, I'm saying this, because <laughs> I, I don't know where you stand, but it seems as of right now, everyone that we have trusted in the secular community with our influence has betrayed us in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? Everyone will be like, oh, they cool, they made it, they cool, they made it. You know, and, it, and it's like, man, we've, it's betrayed us, including R. Kelly, including, I, mean, we, I know there's a whole we don't knows, including Bill Cosby. I know there's, the, I know it's uncomfortable, we don't See, that's know. why I like Duke. He yeah. talk about the tough yeah, stuff. He, yeah, He says the tough things. <laughs> yeah. ah. and, so, and I know that it stings and I know that it hurts, but it's like everyone that we've given the past, oh, they doing something positive. And it's like, no. And it's like, well, will we give room for believers to have a creative edge. Ah. Will are we are we want to, like if we already know that there's a sound and a, a visual that's appealing to a, a generation, can we give our warriors, our levites the room that they need to be creative in that dimension? And that's what I think I'm pushing uh the envelope to um Tony tried it years ago, mm. but again, he was a church boy. Um, we can go down the list of people. Kirk Franklin seems to be the only person who successfully, and even in the beginning, he'll tell you, oh my God, the, the flack he took. Right. When you stop and they're willing to go through it. Yeah, I'm, now I am. Yeah. Because here's the thing about life, man. When you, when you grow up trying to conform, 
And when you grow up trying to be accepted, you lose so much sleep at night because you know you're not authentically being who you are. Yeah, and, and here's the biggest thing that concerns me is uh, none of these fools is going to help you pay your bills. They're going to leave you hanging and, they, and move on to the next one. You know, the next big hit, they're going to move on. It's like, man, go and make yours. And, you know, even though, like, see, here's the thing that I think that people confuse is that even God himself says there's seed time and harvest. Yeah. So there's there, in that seed time and harvest, you know, even those, it's meant for that process to, yeah. to go. It's meant to be eaten. It's, so there, it, it's seasonal. So when, a lot of times artists, the problem with artists just like preachers, they don't know when to sit down. Yep. The same way they don't know when to rise up. Yep. You know what I mean? And so I, I, I love that you said, you know, you're haunted and I, by not being, because that authentic you might be what needs to be, that might be the sound from heaven. Yes, sir. That's needed for that season. And it's crazy you said it because you bring up the word process. You bring up seed time and harvest. I think another thing with being an artist that has hindered so many, including myself, once you hit that road, it's like you're just striving to become, 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 become with very little effort or investment in the actual process. Mm -hmm. It's like do what works. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It, Scream and holler. Who cares if it damages your vocal cords? Right. You know, That's if, 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 I mean, if, who, you know, do whatever gets the people going. And it's like, OK, at the end of the day, there's still a me right. that has to be maintained in between the artistry. I think another thing, even in gospel uh, music, in Christian music, that artistry starts becoming almost a facade. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, and I don't want, I'm telling you, I I, these, are things, want, these yeah. are things that convict me at night. Yeah, so, so it, you made a, uh, we're actually going to play a little bit of the video uh, so you guys can see. Uh, we'll show you the clip of this video that he did on his Facebook page. We'll be right back. Cool. I don't say anything unless I'm led to, so I have something to say. Um, I don't get up here unless I have something to say, so um, this is a transparent moment. So oftentimes, I have been uh, guilty of speaking negative over myself. I've been, I've been guilty of letting guilt uh, control the way I pray. I've been guilty of letting uh, my own personal criticisms uh, cause doubt and fear in my life. Um, not truly forgiving myself for dumb decisions, stupid mistakes. Um, but I'm learning that the best way to please God, the, ble the best way to go beyond that is to truly um, learn, truly learn to forgive yourself for negative speaking, negative thoughts over yourself and over your life. It's been confirmed over a post I even shared uh, through Facebook today. So I titled this video, Speak Over Yourself, because it's time out for us speaking negativity over our lives. It's time out for us uh, holding the past against ourselves. It's time out for us to uh, stop living in guilt Guilt is not from God. Guilt is from Satan. Conviction comes from the Holy Spirit. Guilt is how the enemy traps you into not being able to move beyond the offense, the sin, um, the moment of sin. Uh, and it keeps you actually in a crutched and a cuffed environment to where you cannot break free, you cannot move forward. And the enemy knows you're forgiven. That's why he tries so hard to hold guilt over your head because he knows that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And he knows that those of us who are uh, 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 willing to confess our sins to the Lord, he's able and just to forgive. He also knows that where sins are, sin abounds, grace much more abounds. And so he uses guilt at times to try to keep us from the freedom that Christ has already given us. So today, as I move on through my day, I'm just leaving the gym. I have made a vow to myself. I will no longer hold myself captive 
to bad decisions, unforgiveness uh, for some of the things that I've done, uh, uh, and just speaking negative based on my own criticisms and my own insecurity. I will walk in the freedom that God has given me through his son, Jesus Christ. I will speak well over myself. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I was made for every situation that God is allowing me to go through and I will come out victorious. And that's what I'm going to start speaking over myself because there are times where God blesses me, y'all. And if I can just be honest, I'll act like I don't deserve it or I'll feel like you know, because I, I, I don't do everything right, that maybe I shouldn't belong in some of the things that he's given me. So it causes me um, to kind of, it causes me to kind of, um, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know how I want to say it. It causes me to draw back. I'll say it like that. If I don't feel like I deserve to be in a room, if I feel like I don't deserve to be around some of the people I'm around, or if I feel like somebody's further along than me, it causes me to draw back. But I'm ha I'm having to really come to grips with the fact that, yo, destiny cannot be changed. If this is God's will for your life, you embrace it, you enjoy it, and you go as far as you can go. Okay, so before we show the video, you have made a very profound statement, and, and, and it, may, it triggered me, and I'm like, we got to play some of this video. But it's the part where you actually said that, uh, you know, you have missed opportunities because you've seen someone go on before you or someone what it's almost like you 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 you're afraid of your own greatness mm -hmm. uh and and then you know like it made me think like wow man there you know there's so many you know what what does that feel like you know to 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 be afraid of your own greatness but to even acknowledge your own insecurity <laughs> Man, it's it's a freedom, first of all, um, to get to that place where you can acknowledge it. The reason why it is a truth of mine is, here's the thing, I've already lived up to people's perceptions of me. Mm -hmm. So when they get to see a real Slater moment, not a Slater Joel moment, right. it literally can catch them by surprise. And it's like, hey... I never told you I was any different from you. Right, right. I never told you I was perfect. I never told you that I didn't have issues. I never told you. And so what it ended up doing for me was, wow, like, am I afraid of, am I actually afraid of greatness because of the responsibility of the perception mm -hmm. of people? Or do I take time to fall back, learn how to securely be me, show people that, and show them that there's still a God who is graceful, yeah. a God who loves them, a God who can still use them yeah. in spite of their imperfections. Yeah. And, but but be be cool enough with those holier than thou people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Who, who who might have an issue? With you know, you know what's funny is that I, I've always said this, uh, and I, and I try to inspire as many people as I can with this. I say there's a difference between a runaway slave and a free man. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? And the reason why I say that because a runaway slave can be sur sur surrounded by masters and he's terrified. He's yeah. like, well, he's got to play it cool, but he's terrified because what if someone finds out that he's really a runaway uh, slave? Yeah. You know, but a free man can be around uh, slave masters and have nothing to worry about. Absolutely. Not, not one bit of concern to worry mm -hmm. about. Uh, and, and, and that's why I think that we've really got to exercise our freedom mm -hmm. uh, because it's so easy to fall into a slave mentality. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially a slave to fear, a slave to other people's mm -hmm. thoughts, a slave to criticism. Um, but I, I do got to ask you this, and then that saying too, because that you know that Facebook video <laughs> was hitting, man. You you was all over the place, man. I was like, whoa, what what was it that sparked it? What was it that sparked it? Uh, just sitting down one day, um, I do a lot of reflecting. Mm. I reflect probably daily, you know, on the day, on the week. Um, if something triggered a moment that caught me off guard. Um, of course, I battle with the loss of my mom, my grandmother. Anything will make me reflect just to make sure I'm present. Right. I'm present in my life. Right. Um, and then furthermore, like we just talked about the schedules. You know, oh, hey, I got to go do this. Hey, I got to go do that. Mm -hmm. If you don't take time to reflect, yeah. you, you'll get lost in all yeah. of that stuff. And one day, I'll just say I saw somebody. I'll leave that somebody mm -hmm. nameless. I saw somebody and it just... 
I could see the inauthenticity. Just I could see them being inauthentic. I could see them almost feel as if they had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And bro, I cannot live like that. Yeah. Well, I, I know that uh, I've been in the music industry for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I started with Rejoice and, you know, uh, even before that. Uh, but I never knew that. Uh, I heard someone say that the best actors in the world are in the church. You know what I mean? And, and, and I was like, I concur. And I've seen so many fakies. Uh, and, so many fakies. And fakies. fakies just, and it, and it is, you know, it is sad because uh, you, you, there's a lot of confusion that happens when you, because it seems like sometimes the, the people that get the, the biggest breaks are the phoniest. And that's what hurts, man, because you got people like, you know, myself who, like I said, even in that video, my conviction is, man, the Bible literally says, and God regretted the day mm -hmm. he anointed Saul. Right. right. I was like, whoa. That yeah. don't convict y'all. Yeah, right. That right. don't make y'all want to live right. Right. That 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 exactly. God literally not regret as in he made a mistake because God makes no mistakes. But regrets just in like a shake my head, dude. Like, yeah. what are you down here doing with what I blessed you with? Yeah. And when I see people who literally had a voice. Whoa. Whoa, he's shooting off. Go, <laughs> go ahead. When I when I see people who literally had, the key word is had a voice. Nothing about their physical voice has changed. But what has changed is the conviction, the anointing, the, 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 the very integrity of what came from the inside of them yeah. has changed. And so as much as I want to hear you, bruh, it's hard. It's, <laughs> it's hard. hard. And I'm not judging you. Right. I'm really not because you my guy. But I'm shaking my head. And that's why I understand what the Bible means when it says God regretted. Yeah. Because you still my dude, but bruh, no. <laughs> no. And, 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 the, and, and you watch him just, and I heard a lot of people give Saul a hard time, but you just watch him just fall apart. Even where David is like, I could have killed you three times. Yeah. And, see, we about to start preaching that way. <laughs> but there is a message in this because you watch so many artists and I got to use the word squander. Squander is the perfect word? And squander the anointing that God gives them. And here, here's the issue. And I'm going to tell you why that's important. I love how you said that. Because I caught myself. When my mother first passed, nobody cared about, you know, certain things. As long as I was singing and rocking the house and people shouting very few people honestly cared about if I truly was okay. Right. Because, again, it's a perception. I looked okay. All right, now we got to take a break. We're going to get into that when we get back because that's another thing <laughs> I want to talk to you about. Yo, what up, man? Yeah, I, Mike, Mike, Yo. I got you, man. That sounds real good, but, man, I got to take care of this right now, man. I got to take care of something I've been putting off for a long time. I got to do that right now. As soon as I'm done, I promise you I'll be there. All right, man, hurry up. I'll see you. All right, man, I'll see you real soon. Okay. All right. Share it. 